The never-ending conversation about what path to take to get into cybersecurity continues. Do employers value certifications more or do they value work experience? Whatever that may mean. Before we get too far into this, I'd like to preface this by saying there is no one perfect path you can take that will guarantee a job in security or anything at all, but there are certain things you can do to increase your chances despite the road you take. With that being said, let's define some of the terms and the scope of this video. First, what is work experience? Work experience is defined as the experience an employee gains while working in a job or a particular field, right? Because of the complexities of our beloved field, cybersecurity, I'm going to scratch out the part that says job and add a few things that people consider work experience in cybersecurity. Our new definition is as follows. Work experience is experience that one gains while working on independent research such as bug bounty, CV, hunting, and open source contributions, as well as going through lab platforms like HTB or building labs in one's home lab. The part about HTB is a bit of a gray area because not everyone agrees that is actual experience, but I'll leave it in there. Now, let's define certifications. A certification is an official document attesting to a status or a level of achievement. We are not including degrees in this category. That is a whole different animal. Common certifications people attain early on in their careers include the EJPT, the CompTIA Trifactor, that is the SEC+, plus, NEP+, plus, and A+, plus, the OSCP, the PNPT, the CEH, the Pentest+, plus, just to name a few. Now the question we are here for, what do employers value more? Now I could barely find any studies about this specifically for cybersecurity, but according to a survey, employers believe that IT certifications give a working advantage. Now guess who this survey was by CompTIA. This was a survey by CompTIA, of course they're going to say that. Anyways, the rest of this is a bit anecdotal, so take it with a grain of salt, but most of the engineers I've talked to seem to come from the experience route we defined and they barely have any certifications, if at all. The boomers, that is the older generation, seem to have learned most of what they know by doing. There weren't any dedicated cybersecurity degrees or certifications as much as there are now. Millennials, on the other hand, mostly seem to have degrees, but I don't want to get into degrees because that's a whole different animal, like I said. And then Gen Z enters the chat and they are confused as hell because there's 1 million certifications a million self-paced projects you can work on, thousands and thousands of bug bounty programs you can hunt on, and even more open source applications to look at if you want to get into CVE hunting. The abundance of information is what is killing us, but one thing I can guarantee you is that if you pick one thing and stick to it, there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Whether it be bug bounty, certifications, whatever you pick, stick to it for a year or two, and you'll be ahead of a lot of people. You need to have a game plan though. You need to practice the right way to make rapid progress. Ipsec says perfect practice makes perfect. I forgot what he says. Check out this other video somewhere on the screen if you want a roadmap for penetration testing from complete noob to senior penetration tester. It contains a very detailed guide about what things to learn at each stage. That is it for me. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.